answering all of your questions about when you really need to worry. But have you ever considered that you may be worrying too much? Take a look at some of the ways our bodies respond to stress and anxiety. Why do I get a knot in my stomach when I'm nervous? Well, there's some debate on what actually causes that sensation, but I'm gonna tell you what's going on in your body. When you get nervous and anxious, your body releases a lot of adrenaline. That's the fight or flight response. Well, what does that do? That diverts all blood flow to your heart, to your breathing, to your brain, shuts everything down in your digestive tract. So I'm gonna give you a little demonstration here of what happens. So let's say you just ate a meal of strawberries. Nice, healthy that's meal good. there, mm -hmm. all right. Your body is, wants to be in this rest and digest state. That's called the parasympathetic nervous system that takes over. It's an automatic nervous system. And you know what? It, it allows your body to secrete digestive juices and everything should be fine because you're resting and you're digesting. Everything mixing up, no problem. But when you get really anxious and nervous or there's a big stressor in your life, you go into this fight or flight mode, like I mentioned. That's your sympathetic nervous system. It shunts blood flow away from your digestive tract. All the things that need to help digest food, the secretions stop because there's no blood flow there. So imagine the cortisol and the adrenaline, all the stress hormones oh. gunking up what should be going on, which is you're supposed to be resting and digesting and just relaxing. But no, you're stressed out, so nothing is happening like it should be in your GI tract. It's gumming things up. So, it, you see that? Things aren't working so well, and it's just, oh my goodness. And you know what else happens? Just the regular, what we call peristalsis, which moves food down the digestive tract, slows down. And it's not that that is actually the cause of the pain, that knot in your stomach, but that's what's going on when you're super anxious, super stressed out. And that's why when you're stressed, you may not have a bowel movement for a little while. It may bring yeah, that, on constipation. That may take a while right there. Yeah, and then when you relax and go away, you're like, and then you can go. Mm -hmm. And oh, how good that is. <laughs> well, let's take a look at another strong emotion our body responds to. Why do I get a lump in my throat when I get upset? Well, that's another interesting question. And as the ear, nose, and throat surgeon, I'm going to try and answer this as best as I can. The first response is that your body wants to open up that airway to allow more air in there. Maybe I and can Dr. demonstrate Sears that. And Dr. Sears is going to help me demonstrate that. Okay, so your body is trying to respond to that to that emotional situation by opening up the airway, but then your neck muscles want to constrict. So you see that? that? That represents the lump in your throat from those two opposing forces working against each other. In the end, it's just another reason when you find yourself super stressed out, realize that that was useful back in the fight or flight stage of life when you had to run away from that lion or tiger or bear. But nowadays, instead of letting it get to you, Get rid of that knot in your stomach, the lump in your throat. Take some deep breaths. Yep. And realize that if you don't let that tension go away, that it's going to affect your health over the long term. Mm -hmm. oh, you feel that lump just disappear? Yeah. You know what? what? Lump. And the bowels are still <laughs> working. They'll, they'll go.